Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video we are going to solve x plus 6 factorial by x plus 2 factorial is equals to 1680 and we have to find the value of x. So let's start with the today's video solution. So x plus 6 factorial we can write x plus 6 factor 6 x plus 5 times x plus 4 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 factorial by x plus 2 factorial is equals to 1680 and we can cancel out this. Now we can regrouping them x plus 6 times x plus 3 together and x plus 4 times x plus 5 together is equals to 1680. Now if we are going to multiply inside so x square plus 3x plus 6x plus 18 and this is x square plus 4x plus 5x plus 20 is equals to 1680. This gave us x square plus 9x plus 18 and this gave us x square plus 9x plus 20 is equals to 1680. Now, x square plus 9x, 18 we can write it as 19 minus 1. Similarly, 20 we can write it as 19 plus 1 is equals to 1680. So, here if I assume this as a and this as b, so it becomes an identity a minus b and here a plus b which is equals to a square minus b square. So we can write it as x square plus 9x plus 19 square minus 1 square is equals to 1680. So x square plus 9x plus 19 square is equals to 1680 plus 1. So x square plus 9x plus 19 is equals to 1681. I'm going to take square root both sides. So it gives us x square plus 9x, the whole square. With the help of this whole square, this square root removes. And 1681 is the square root of 41. So first case, when 41 is positive. And another case, when 41 is negative. x square plus 9x plus 19 minus 41 is equals to 0. So x square plus 9x, this give us negative 22. And x square plus 9x plus 19 plus 41 is equals to 0. x square plus 9x plus 60 is equals to 0. Now they both are quadratic equations. So we are going to check with the quadratic discriminant formula. That is whether their root exists or not. D is equals to B square minus 4AC. B is coefficient of X square. A is coefficient of X. B is coefficient of X. A is coefficient of X square. And C is the constant. 81 minus 4 times 22 is 88. This gives us 169. So it's a positive number. So yes, it's their roots exist. When it comes to this, 9 square minus 4 times 1 times 60. 81 minus 240, that is negative 159. So their root does not exist. So we'll solve this. x square 
plus 9x minus 22 is equal to 0. So we can do middle term x square plus 11x minus 2x minus 22 is equal to 0. x, x plus 11 minus, if I'll take 2 as common, x plus 11 is equal to 0. So x minus 2 and x plus 11 is equal to 0. So x is 2 and x is negative 11. So we have two values. So now we have to check whether both values are exist or not. So our question is, x plus 6 factorial by x plus 2 factorial. So our denominator cannot be equals to 0. So if the value is less than negative 2 because x plus 2, if you write negative 2, then it will be 0. So if the value is less than negative 2, so we cannot take it. So we'll reject the case negative 11 and check with x plus 2. So when x is 2, so this becomes 8 factorial by 4 factorial. That is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial by 4 factorial. We can cancel out this. 8 times 7 is 56 and 6 times 5 is 30. When we multiply this, we get 1680. That means x is equal to 2 verify this. I hope it's clear and you find it useful. So please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned.